Dear friends, hello? One of our friends had a request via email about three to four months ago. I can only make this video now. I hope they don't mind. How will the motor phase protection relay be connected to the thermal relay? They had asked me to explain that I will connect the NTS MK01 phase protection relay that I have with a thermal relay. Our thermal relay is here. In this connection, we will also use a contactor. How can we start a motor like this with a phase protection relay plus a thermal relay? I will try to explain this to you as applications. I hope this will be a useful video. Let me point this out right at the beginning of the video. I will provide a link to this diagram in the description section of the video. It says you can download it from there and use it. I'm going straight to the application. Our old viewers, they know our mini panel, three phases. One phase, here we are neutralizing. We have our ground on this brown terminal. Here we use double wave buttons. The terminals of the start buttons are the ones shown with this blue wire. The terminals of the stop button will be the ones shown are in brown. Because in this circuit, let me show you on the HMI right now. In this circuit, we will use one start button and one stop button. We will continue like this. Now, I will connect the mirror according to the diagram here. The first thing I will do is create the control circuit. We will take more than one from one of the three phases for the control circuit. We will move on to the start button. We will exit and go to the stop. Then there are 95, 96 terminals of the thermal relay. Closed terminal. What happened? There is a terminal. It's a closed terminal. It's also shown in this diagram. It's just not written. T1 is written here. I will exit from the 95, 96 terminal of this thermal relay. I will connect to the common terminal, which is terminal number two. I will quickly set up this circuit and join you. Yes, friends, I have completed the first part of the connection. Now in the first part, we took the phase. As you can see from here, we entered the start button. We entered the start button. We connected the output of the start button to the stop. We always put stop in front, but follow this scheme. Please don't talk to me about why I didn't connect the stop first. I placed the stop at the back like this, so I also put it at the back. So I connected the output of the start to the input of the stop from here. I took the terminal from the output of the stop and connected it to T1. We have a contact called T1, which is 9596. I exited from here, look. I connected to T1, which is 9596. I actually connected to terminal 95. We exit from 96 and connect to the common terminal which is indicated here. Anyway, the common terminal of the relay is the phase input terminal number two. I also connected to terminal number two by exiting from 96 with this blue wire. So, I have completed this section. I have a missing part in this section. I will create a sealing circuit. What is sealing? So, what were we doing? By taking two terminals from the open ends of the contactor, we were connecting it to the first terminal of the start. Since my contactor is here, I will take from either the normally open terminals, 13 to 14, 43 to 44. I will take from 43, 44. To easily connect these three circuits on the open terminals, 43, 44, it normally says no here. As you can see, I will take from these two terminals. By connecting to both terminals of the start, I will have completed the sealing process. I'm going to complete the sealing process right away and continue with my video. Friends, I took from both terminals of the start with these two red wires, 4344 and his son, I connected to the open terminals of our contactor. Now, if we look at this diagram, I've also made this connection. So I've just completed the entire connection I took from here. Now, I will connect the neutral to the neutral terminal of the relay. After that, we set the common terminal number two. Let's show it here. I will take from terminal number three and connect it to the A1 terminal of the contactor. I will connect the other end to the neutral. I'm continuing my video after doing these processes. Yes, we made the connection, dear friends. So, what did we do? I took a line from the neutral with a black wire. 
I connected to the part that says end terminal, one that says neutral, with a protected image. I also took an additional connection from there to the terminal of the contactor. Let me show you from here. I quickly took a wire and connected it to this. Now, there was a bit of a mix up with my protection relay. It seems that terminal number three and terminal number one have swapped places. It's working that way. Now, let me show you how it works. We usually connect to terminal 3, but my output came from terminal 1. Swapping them, I need to switch them here, but normally we connect to 3. I'm switching them here, but normally we need to connect to 3. As you can see, we did the sealing. It just gave the output, which means the contactor is working. Now, we'll set up the power circuit. We finish the control circuit. As you can see, when the thermal relay trips, the system goes offline. I'm setting up the thermal relay. I'm pressing the start button again. As you can see, the contactor is pulling in. Now let's set up the power circuit. While setting up the power circuit, we will do it like this. We will take three phases. We will connect to both the relay and the contactor in the same order. I think I will connect these from the bottom right away. Later, I will connect to the thermal relay from the output of the contactor. Without changing the phase order, I will also connect my three-phase synchronous motor to the output of this thermal relay. I will do these operations right away and join you. Dear friends, I have now completed the test. The system is working well. When I entered the three phases, the contact number three returned to its original state. So, as you noticed, I had taken one earlier during the test. We have taken its old place. For this reason, one should complain. Contact number two. We entered the middle coil phase into this output at contact number three. We have exited from three. If you pay attention, we exited from the third contact. We have powered A1 of the contactor. So, when the third contact becomes active, what will it pull? Of course, when you press start. As you can see, the contactor will pull. I have entered three phases right now. I'm talking about leakage current. Leakage current. Let's get into the motor protection relay. I have entered three phases into our motor protection relay. Now, if we look at the power circuit, I will connect the same phases to the power contacts of the contactor. I will connect the outputs to the thermal relay. I'm connecting the motor to the output of the thermal relay. I'm continuing with my video. Right now, there's no problem. As you can see, when the thermal relay trips, the contactor becomes passive. We're setting up the thermal relay from here. As you know, I'm cutting off the power and continuing with the power circuit. Yes, we have completed the power circuit, dear friends. Now we have taken three phases. We have entered the relay. I connected to the power contacts of the contactor without changing the phase order. Let me zoom in. This connection with these orange wires. I have green wires at the output. Again, I connected to the power circuit of the thermal relay. Without changing the phase order, I connected to the power contacts. I have also connected my three-phase asynchronous motor to the output of the thermal relay on the right side. I have connected now its three terminals. Let's quickly check the circuit again. We entered the start button. We exited to stop. We passed the end. We exited from stop through 9596. We have reached the common terminal with this blue wire, the phase protection relay. We exited from the Ushinolu terminal of this phase protection relay because the Ushinolu terminal is the common terminal. We have made the contact to supply, exiting from this Ushinolu terminal. Of course, I'm not mentioning that we have connected the outputs anymore. In this way, we have completed our control circuit. After the control circuit, we took three phases just like I explained earlier. We made the necessary connections and connected the phase protection relay and the thermal relay together. Let's start it right away. I'm pressing the start button. As you can see, our three-phase asynchronous motor is running. It turned out there was a different kind of fault. As a result of this fault, our thermal relay tripped. Our thermal relay tripped. As you can see, when the thermal relay tripped, the contactor shut down, which disabled our motor. I'm resetting thermal relay. I'm pressing the start button again, like this. I'm not explaining the thermal settings right now to keep the video from getting too long. 
let's say one of the phases is lost from the system. To prevent the motor from running on two phases, as you can see, our phase protection relay or motor protection relay kicks in and shuts down the system, preventing our motor from running on two phases and malfunctioning. This relay's sole function is phase protection, meaning it disables the system when one of the three phases is lost. Otherwise, it doesn't provide protection against issues like phase sequence changes. In that case, a phase sequence change wouldn't help us with this relay either. The only feature of this relay is phase protection. This is the simplest phase protection relay, the MK01 relay from Entes. Otherwise, a fault like a phase sequence change wouldn't be beneficial for this relay either. Because this is the simplest phase protection relay, the MK01 relay from Entes. If you have a problem with phase sequence as well, you can use a relay of that type, connecting it to the thermal relay to provide protection against both current and voltage changes, as well as against phase loss and phase swapping. Now let's reconnect the cable that came out from this phase. Let's do our test one more time. By the way, I want to mention this as well. I haven't been making videos for a while due to various difficulties. I couldn't shoot, I'm sorry. I had promised it would be in September. It's the end of December. It's the beginning of December. It's the end of November. Please forgive me, I couldn't make the video. I'm also going to disable the comments from now on because I'm really tired of the insults and degrading comments from people. If you have any issues or questions about this video or similar ones, please copy the link of the video and send it to my email or write it under your question. I will definitely get back to you if it's a reasonable and logical question. As you can see, I'm reconnecting the connection. The motor is running. It stops when the thermal relay trips. The thermal relay is working again. If one of the phases goes offline, the motor protection kicks in again. It says, I send my regards to all of you. I pray that God grants clarity of mind to our student friends. May God protect our electrician brothers from accidents and misfortunes. I wish you healthy and happy work. Good day. See you. New videos. Goodbye. Birthday, come on America.